What's going on everybody for the Tattoo Network? I am Sketch and today we are stopping by the one and only Bad Apple Tattoo here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Some people say that this apple fell a little too far from the tree. Some people say that this shop was built on ancient burial ground and that the animals come alive at night. Some people say that this shop is where Sailor Gary got his start. If you don't know who that is, that's Sailor Jerry's third cousin removed a few times. This place is so old, some people say that it's haunted by fur trappers from the 1800s. This shop is so old that the pillars themselves were imported from ancient Greece. That's what they say. Let's go inside and check it out. here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm originally from Southern California, San Diego. Started tattooing 14 years ago. I was a front guy manager. I started as a piercer, which everyone fucking gives me shit for, but it was my, it was my foot in the door, you know? I started at like a biker shop, but they had a lot of good quality tattooers there that I learned a lot from. I never went through a formal apprenticeship. I just kind of watched and one day I was given one of the guys shit and I was like, man, I was like, that tattoo sucked. And he's like, oh yeah, let's see if you can do it. So I set myself up, I tattooed myself. The owner saw it. I did like three tattoos and then I was fucking going. I was on the schedule. I'm known for being pretty versatile tattooer. I do all styles except for portraits. Uh, I don't do people portraits, I'll do animals, I'll do realistic black and gray stuff. I like to do color, bold line, bright color, like super saturated stuff. I'm honestly probably the worst one here. Like I'm picky about who works here, so everyone here is better than me, which is rad. If you want to get tattooed by me, look at the other guys here stuff first, because they're fucking way better than me. Uh, I have a tattoo Instagram, it's just Edward underscore tattoo. And uh, my regular Instagram, if you want to see my bullshit life, is uh, Ed Bad Apple. I purchased the shop in 2009 with my partner, Chessie Girl. Um, since then, she's passed away, but uh, I've continued with the shop and continued building with a super solid crew. I think Bad Apple is special because you can come in and get any style tattooing here. Anything you want, you're gonna get some of the best quality tattooing you can get here. DJ came with the shop when we purchased the shop, which is awesome. Like furniture? Yeah, it was like a, like a nice piece of antique furniture. <laughs> Back then, he's, he's always been a great tattooer, but just seeing him like fucking push himself and get better every day, which is crazy. So I'm super stoked to have him here. Yeah, he's a piece of work back then for sure. <laughs> What's up guys, DJ Tammy. I'm from Rochester, New York originally. I've been in Las Vegas, Nevada for the last 13 years at Bad Apple Tattoo. You know, I've seen it switch owners, I've seen 20, 30 artists go through here, but you know, the past five or six, we've had a solid crew and uh, I love these guys. I got into tattooing, I was a young kid. I took some ink from art class, went home, tattooed myself. I was about, I think, 13 years old. My friends caught on. I traveled around, started tattooing my friends at their houses. I had the courage to go into a shop that was opening when I was 17. Did a tattoo on one of my friends. The owner put me on skin the next day. I was tattooing in a shop before I could, you know, legally get tattooed. Graffiti influenced me a lot. Um, I hung around a lot of, you know, older kids, skateboard kids. I used to hop trains when I was a kid and end up in the city. We used to paint on the tracks all the time. So I've just been an artist since birth. You know, I, I feel like. I was kind of put here to just create things. I like just making art out of anything. I've, you name it, I've done it. I, I've been a hustler all my life. Just been grinding all my life. Been grinding all my life. My style switches day to day. Um, it's just whatever I'm feeling at that moment. 
and uh, I don't like to, you know, categorize myself. So, but I, I really like, you know, black and gray realism and just that real poppy, illustrative, bold color work. Uh, but people come to me for all different stuff, and uh, I'm gonna keep it that way. So my books are always open. Feel free to shoot an email, djtamby at gmail.com. My Instagram's at djtamby. Don't hit me on my Instagram. Uh, it's hard to stay in contact with everybody on there, so it's uh, djtamby at gmail.com, or what is it? <laughs> you can also check out my website, djtamby.art, uh, for the latest tattoos, artwork. You know, soon I'll have a giant store full of tons of stuff. I want to thank a lot of people, just anybody that's positive in my life on a day-to-day -day basis, all my followers, clients, friends, family, uh, my wife, if I didn't have her, I wouldn't have shit. Also, thank you for watching all my TV stuff, because uh, big stuff happening this fall, so tune in. Uh, Willie I worked with at another shop here in Vegas. He was looking for a new spot, so I hit him up, I was like, dude, get your ass over here, man. Actually, I was hitting him up when me and Jesse first purchased the shop, and it took him about a year or two to come over and work with us. Hi, I'm Willie. Uh, I'm 35 years old. I'm from Oregon and Arizona, but I grew up in Las Vegas. I've been working at Bad Apple now for 10 years. Uh, the style of tattooing that I do mostly is probably illustrative tattooing, but I'm pretty well versed in everything. I guess I started doing my style based on what I've been drawing my whole life. Um, I'm more of like a, I guess, comic book style illustrator. Um, you know, I have like a certain level of realism, but also I try and keep it a little bit more dynamic, uh, bright, you know, uh, a little bit more flowy than actually being realistic. I've been doing art since before kindergarten, I would say. The first thing I can remember drawing is Ninja Turtles straight out of a coloring book. Uh, my favorite thing about working at Bad Apple is the whole crew. Uh, we all, you know, mesh well together. We all kind of break each other's balls. Um, and also, you know, it's just a real lax environment. I, I don't feel pressured to be at work exactly on time or if I need to, you know, take a couple days off, it's not a big deal. You know, I wanted to do this when I was 18. Now I've been doing it for 13 years and uh, I'm still happy. So my advice for anybody looking to get tattooed by me would be either to come into the shop, talk to me in person, or hit me up on Instagram. Instagram is probably the fastest way digitally to get a hold of me. If you email me, it might take me a minute. It might get lost in my emails, my DMs. I always try to get to within a couple days. Coming in and talk to me about your ideas is probably the best thing to do. Also, try and be a little bit uh, open to ideas and interpretation of you know my style. If you like my tattoos, then you know, just give me a basic idea and let me flow with it. I want to uh, take a little opportunity to thank everybody who helped me get to where I am, all the people who have taught me stuff about tattooing, people I've worked with, who I've picked up things from, um, not just tattooers, but you know, artists in general. Uh, I want to thank my wife for always telling me that I'm great even when I don't think that I am. You can see more of my work on my Instagram, which is Tattoo, all one word. Uh, Nico came in one day looking for a guest spot. He was out here. Nico was a traveling tattooer most of his career until he hit Vegas. So we picked him up. He did some walk-ins here and some clientele and pulled him on. And while he's been here, he's developed that crazy like black style, geometric stuff he does. He's constantly growing with that. He was one of the first ones doing that out here. Hey, I'm Nico. I've been tattooing for 19 years. I'm 36 years old. I'm from France originally. I've been working at Bad Apple for about six years now. Is there any good things about working here? I mean, besides looking at Willie's muscles every day, not really. No, I love it here. I love working with the guys that work here. Everybody has a very different style, so we don't really like compete with each other, but we still find a way to feed off each other. And I've been to a lot of tattoo shops over the years, and that's definitely a like very easy going place to walk at, so I like it. I'm only saying that because the bus is sitting right here. Yeah, can you leave so I can actually speak the truth? I'm like, I'm in a fucking prison! God damn it! Get me out of here! So if I'm blinking, that means get me out of here. I'm known for uh, hipster tribal, I guess that's how you would call it. Yeah, black tattoos. That kind of stuff. Pretty much like a glorified version of what tribal was in the 90s. Let me see if this makes you easier to understand. <laughs> oh my God. What artist do you follow or look up to? 
Um, what else did I look at before the two? I mean, fuck, that's a hard one. I mean, lately, like a lot of my painting, I've been a little inspired by that guy Soulage, who's an old, very old French painter. So I use a lot of very heavy black and very small like amount of white in this painting that just kind of creates a very dynamic type of painting. Where did you get your style of tattooing from? So I was living in England about 10 years ago and I was surrounded by the black wall guys and all the guys are doing that walk, kind of where it's from and that's when I got interested in it, started drawing it. But it's not until I moved to Vegas that I was really able to just like just do that and just find a client out for it and really do it. So. You got some of it, right? Yeah. What accomplishments are you most proud of? Uh, the, um, I mean, I rode my motorcycle up to the Arctic Circle last year. Well, I was pretty proud of that. The whole trip took me about two months, but I did make some stops to walk on the way just to finance it. But like the ride itself was about like roughly around 15,000 kilometers round trips. Oh yeah, you guys don't fucking know kilometers. Then fucking learn, that makes way more sense than mileage. This might is fucking stupid. <laughs> it's true. Right. Yeah, kilometers just makes sense. It's like zeros after zeros. They're like, you know what I mean? It's just like kilograms. It's like, what the fuck is miles and pounds? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Roughly 10,000 miles. So the best way to get the hold of me, to get tattooed by me, is either just come down to the shop, send me an email, DM me, whatever else is yours for you. You can see more of my work at Nico Rusen. Com or on Instagram, it's N I C O R O U S S I N. You should probably write it down here because nobody's gonna understand that. <laughs> Do that thing on YouTube where you see, like, click right here, <laughs> you know, <laughs> click in the link below, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> go in and smash the like button, <laughs> button. And, uh, use this time to shout out your family, friends, or anyone you might want to thank, uh, or you know, anything. I would like to thank uh, everybody that helped me, you know, get where I am today, I guess. I be that guy over there. And some of the other guys. That wasn't genuine at all, but that's okay. Uh, I really wish Stevie would go back here though, and I wish you well, and I really hope you get better, and we really want to have you back, and that was genuine. James has actually been here third longest out of the crew, other than DJ and Willie. James used to work at another shop. We've been friends for a long time. He was looking to relocate also, and uh, he hit me up, and he was tattooing out of the shop within a couple days. What's up, guys? I'm James Ferreira. I am originally from California, but I moved out here to Las Vegas in 2005. I've been tattooing for 18 years now. Started tattooing in 2001. I'm old. I have been at Bad Apple Tattoo almost eight years now. The style I'm most known for is probably bold color. If you come to me, you're gonna get a tattoo that you can see from across the street. Bold lines, bold, saturated, solid color. I do everything from traditional American tattoos all the way to kind of modern day, soft, bright, watercolor style stuff. And I'm trying to integrate some more abstract stuff into my portfolio as well. So if you're looking for abstract and or watercolor stuff, hit me up on Instagram. So before tattooing, I was in high school. I'm 37 years old. Uh, I was into art my whole entire childhood. I started seeing all my friends I hung out with. They were heavily tattooed and I got hooked. I started coming with them to appointments. I started seeing what they were getting and I started hounding every tattoo shop around me, seeing if they would give me an apprenticeship, bringing in drawings and stuff like that. In tattooing, my biggest inspiration are the tattooers of yesteryear. Old school guys like Lyle Tuttle, Old Sailor Jerry, guys that I came up with like Clark North, Mark Mahoney, old tattooers that kind of adhere to the, the rules and the ethics of yesteryear. My favorite thing about being a tattoo artist and just an artist in general is being able to be creative. I'm, I'm really hands-on. I love tinkering with my tattoo machines. If you guys are looking to get tattooed by me, the fastest way to see my work is on Instagram at jmftattoo. And in ending, I'd like to thank pretty much everyone that gets tattooed by me. You guys keep me doing what I love day in and day out. I'd like to thank my son for being my driving force and pretty much making me a new man seven and a half years ago. Um, Brody came in as a guest artist. He was traveling through. He's originally from California. I convinced him to move himself and his family out here. It's probably the worst thing he could have done, but we got, <laughs> we got him, so fuck it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brody Figueres. I'm 28 years old today. I'll be 29 tomorrow. I'm from Santa Barbara, California. 
I've been tattooing for a little over 10 years now. People most come to me for neo-traditional and Japanese style tattoos and all sorts of all the other shit. Some artists I look up to are Robert Williams, James Tex, Sneaky Mitch, Mike Dorsey, and copious others. My favorite thing about working at Bad Apple is just the environment. It's an easy place to work. Everybody here has an extremely different skill set and they're all really talented artists that have been working at this shop for a long time and also been tattooing for a long time. And it's kind of got that old street shop feel, which is nice. I started tattooing midway through high school, so it's pretty much what I've been doing. Uh, my favorite thing about being a tattoo artist slash artist uh, is, you know, the freedom of uh, being able to do what I want to do. Like, I can make something and uh, give that to people. If you want to get tattooed by me, my favorite way to go about that is bring me a list of ideas that you have and uh, we'll pick one together that suits my style best. If you're looking to get in contact with me, you can email me at tattoosbybrody at gmail.com. You can see more of my work at my Instagram, at Brody Figueres, or on the shop website, which is badappletattoo.com. I would like to thank some of the people that helped me get here today. My wife, Amanda, who makes it easy for me to come and tattoo every day. Uh, other artists that I've been able to work around, especially the crew here at Bad Apple. Um, everybody works real hard and keeps you on your toes. Tom, who? I don't know, he just showed up one day and he never left. Tom I've known for a lot of years. I've known him since, I think it was before he started apprenticing. And I've just always liked him as a person. He's a super nice dude. And his, his art was amazing. So once I, he started apprenticing, and started tattooing. I've wanted him since then. It's, uh, we just recently got him a year ago. What's going on? My name's Tom Vincent. I'm 31 years old and born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been at Bad Apple for a year now. I specialize in traditional and Americana tattoos, but I do a little bit of everything. Uh, I've been tattooing professionally for a little over three years now. Um, I apprenticed from 2008 to 2010 and then took a six-year hiatus from tattooing to pursue a couple other life interests. My favorite thing about being a tattoo artist and an artist in general is getting to do whatever the hell I want. Uh, I've always wanted to do art my whole life and tattooing is just the way that I'm able to support a family and make a living and follow my passion. Uh, my biggest inspirations are definitely my wife and children. Professionally, I would say Ed Hardy, Chris Kahn, Jacob Bannon, more relevant tattooers like Mark Nava, Steve Byrne, those guys are huge influences on my work. Uh, favorite thing about working at Bad Apple is definitely the crew. A majority of this crew I knew before I worked here. Bad Apple was the first tattoo shop I ever walked into in 2005. Um, so it's awesome and an honor to be here working alongside the talent in here. Um, this crew's amazing and I, I wouldn't want to work anywhere else in Vegas. Best way to get a hold of me is to shoot me an email at tomdvincent at gmail.com. I typically respond within 24 hours. If you want to check out my work, the best way to get a hold of that is on Instagram at tomvincent.tattoo. Um, I'd like to thank my mentors, Shane Jay and Willie Cutlip, for taking me in at Classic Tattoo many years ago. Thank my wife and my family and my brother and sister-in-law for pushing me to get back into tattooing and follow my dreams. And uh, Ed for giving me a shot. What about Goozer? Young Goozy. Little Goose. Hi, I'm Laura Guzman and I'm 28 years old. I'm originally from Raleigh, North Carolina and I moved to Vegas about five years ago. I'm the apprentice here at Bad Apple. I'm apprenticing under Nico Rusin and I've been at Bad Apple, around Bad Apple for about as long as I've lived in Vegas. I was getting tattooed here by a lot of the guys, got tattooed by DJ, James, Nico, I was getting the majority of my work done by Nico. He's probably done like half of my suit. I did with shop help here for maybe like a year, year and a half. So I've been apprenticing six, seven months now. Before tattooing, I was running my art brand um, and making clothing. I do a lot of custom work and custom art. So I really was doing my artwork before transitioning that into tattooing as well. My biggest inspirations are really the artists I've gotten to be around in different tattoo shops that I've gotten to learn from. Advice I have for aspiring tattoo artists would be to just genuinely seek authentic relationships and get tattooed 
by people that you really love their work, that you look up to. Because if you just pursue what you're passionate about, the rest is gonna come naturally and the timing of it is gonna come at the perfect time for you. I just wanted to thank uh, my husband. He's been my biggest support. Uh, my church family, my best friends are there and they've supported me through all the ups and downs. And of course, my mentor, Nico Rusin. Without him, none of this would happen anyway, so appreciate all those guys. You can see more of my work at Guz Tattoos on Instagram. Uh, Stevie, we met through social media. I've known Stevie for years through tattooing, through motorcycles. We've always vibed, I've always liked her as a person. And she's from a small city, so she kind of did as much as she could there and moved to Vegas to, to better herself, get better at tattooing. Stevie, uh, we can't wait till you come back. Um, I think, you know, we're a big part of your support system and just you being here will, will help you get through a lot of this. Fuck a lawyer, fuck a doctor, uh, fuck what anybody says, you know, stay positive and you can retrain your brain to whatever you want it to do. We hope you get well and we miss you. I also want to tell Stevie to get well. Um, you know, we really hope that you're back to work soon. I'd like to send out some get well wishes to Stevie. Hope she gets better soon and comes back to work with us. Also, one of our artists, Stevie, that's not gonna be able to do the interview today. Just wanna wish her best of luck and uh, hope you return soon to work. Stevie, we miss you. Come back to work soon. You got this. Get better soon, Stevie. We're believing in you. We don't care what the doctors say either. We want you back here. We miss your spirit here and your liveliness and we know you'll be back soon. We miss you. Stevie, get well. We miss you. We want you back. We know you're gonna come back. You'll get through all this shit. Fuck those doctors. If you want to see more of Stevie's work, you can find her at Stevie Randallin on the Instagrams. I just want to thank everyone that's uh, supported me in, in my career. To my lady for supporting me and letting me go to work every day. To all the guys I learned from back at Ink Spot in San Diego. Everyone along the way that's helped me, man. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm proud of the crew that we have put together. Like. I'm pretty proud of the fact that I have guys that have been here 10 years plus, you know, you don't see that in a lot of shops. Yeah, all these guys are like, just, just coming to work and being with my best friends, it's rad. All right, man, so I'm gonna take you over to the art studio. You guys can see some of our uh, original art. Uh, basically, I wanted a spot where the guys can go and create and be away from, you know, the customers, because we have kind of a small shop, so we don't have really a separate drawing area like some shops do. Yeah. So if they want that that quiet, you know, their own their own little spot, they can come over here. So we use it to paint. We want to get people together from other shops and uh, come paint house. with us sometime. Yeah, basically uh, these are some of the larger paintings that Nico and DJ are working on. And most of the stuff on the wall is originals from guys here at the shop. And at home, I have a ton of originals. So the plan one day is to have another private studio that's just all original art in it. I wanted to create this environment for them so they have, you know, they have their own space. I try to spoil my guys as much as possible. Like, they're all fucking amazing artists and whatever, whatever I have to do to keep them, you know? I just want the guys to have whatever they need, you know? So I hope you enjoyed meeting the crew here at Bad Apple Tattoo. If so, smash that like button and I encourage you to follow the shop and all of the artists on Instagram. So where should we go next? Leave your suggestions in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and be the first to find out. For the Tattoo Network, I am Sketch. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you stop by the website, thetattoo.network, to pick up your own TTN swag. And remember, tip your tattoo artist. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.